This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, we have some uh, some fan questions that we want to jump into as we wrap it up this week. And uh, we have a question from AdFreeShows.com, my push member, Chase Lamar, buddy. And he said, Kurt, you were absolutely on fire at this time. The speed and intensity in which you wrestled sometimes felt like double than what you would do in WWE. What instilled this drive in you? Was it truly just to show the world, and maybe even specifically Vince, that you really were that much better than everyone else? For my money, you are one of the top five of all time. Well, thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Um, you know what? Yeah, it was to prove to all of the above, to prove to everyone that I was still in my prime and I could wrestle, that I actually got better in TNA. And I wanted to prove that, that, you know, uh, I didn't need WWE to show my ability and what I was able to do in the ring and I could do it in TNA. And I, w- I had a lot to prove by going there. What we call that is a chip on your shoulder. And, uh, <laughs> that's the, you had that and you were wrestling that way. You were wrestling with that passion. Without a doubt. You're right. Adfreeshows.com. Top guy, Zol Lopez. Uh, Zol, good to hear from you. And he says, before signing, uh, before wrestling, I'm sorry, Sting in TNA, and given your time in WWF slash WWE in the Monday Night War era, how familiar were, were you with Sting's history and character and entering spots before you, your first match with him? Well, when I started uh, wrestling in 1998, professional wrestling, I became a fan of WWE, WWF at the time, and WCW. And Sting was one of my favorite wrestlers. So I, I studied him. I watched him. I thought he was an incredible athlete, great character, a great talker. He had the whole ball of wax. But what amazed me about him was his size and him doing like these dives over the top rope onto the floor outside the ring. It was just like, what a, what a mega star, what a super athlete, you know, yeah. this guy is incredible. And what he was able to do in the ring is unparalleled. So uh, I think we've answered this one as we've gone through the show, but I'm going to ask it anyway because it's on behalf of Larry Francis, our buddy, and he says, does it bother you that your NWA championship win still hasn't been recognized yet? I guess the problem here was that the morning before you won, NWA pulled itself away from DNA. That's the whole issue there. Yeah. Did it bother me? Yeah, a little bit. I I wanted to be NWA World Heavyweight Champion, but you know, I wasn't in the cards, and there was no way possible because they backed out the day before. Yeah, they had backed out, so there you go. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.